Welcome to Drivewise Cars, my name is Stephen and this is our stunning 2018 Mini 1 1.5 3 door petrol hatch. It's had one owner from new, who's Catherine, she bought it brand new from her local Mini dealer. The mileage, well that's just 11,818 and it comes with a fully documented Mini service history. This particular one uh, is finished in chilli red, it has a pepper pack, We've got some gorgeous 17 inch conical spoke alloy wheels, visual boost radio, park assistant pack, we've got a flat load rear boot floor system and a three sport multifunction leather steering wheel. So as we just take a moment to pause and appreciate those beautiful alloy wheels. As we slowly make our way now down the near side or passenger side and just peep the gatters on the black part of the rear bumper. That's part of the parking assistant pack. So it gives you front, rear and side parking sensors. So there is absolutely no excuse for running into anything, either at the front or at the back. And we slowly now just take a moment to pause and appreciate those gorgeous clean lines and those beautiful alloy wheels. And we'll meander back down to the front More or less where we started from. So that's the outside. Let's have a look on the inside, shall we? Pop the driver's door open and just check out the door card to make sure that's absolutely stunning, which it is. There are no scuffs or scrapes or damage there. We've got the buttons for the electric windows and a toggle switch for the electric door mirrors. As I pan over to the interior, there's the three sport multifunction leather steering wheel I was talking about. Beautiful cloth upholstery. The driver's seat's height adjustable, just using that lever there. If I park myself inside, and start everything up. There we go. So, on the steering wheel on the left hand side, we've got the master switches for the cruise control. And on the right hand side, that's to change your radio station and the volume. And once you Bluetooth your telephone up, that's how you answer the phone when somebody rings you up. And sitting just above the steering wheel, we've got in the centre there the speedo, as I said, the mileage there 11,818. The rev counter just to the left of that. Coming over to the centre of the car, we've got the visual boost radio system. I particularly like these because you can set all sorts of different options on the car. So you've got the radio, I'm going to settings there. You can change the time and date, sorry that's better, the central display, go round one, and this is the bit I like best, it lets you check the engine oil level, it tells you your service requirements, so there we've got service history, first service was carried out in October 2020, and we look on that, it's due a break for the we change, which was January this year. So we'll have that done for its new owner. The engine oil, well that's not due to be checked until October next year, or in 17,000 miles. And a vehicle check, that's due at the same time, oh sorry, October 22, or in 17,000 miles, the same as the engine oil. That's it. So just coming below that, we've got all the heating and ventilation controls. So we've got the temperature for the passenger on the left, for the driver on the right, and the large wheel in the centre is for the fan. But on this one, with the visibility pack, we've also got a heated front windscreen, which is extremely useful. Just underneath that, we've got the start stop for the car. And there, we've got a bank of switches which include Activation for the parking assistant, stop start, and we've got the, um, I forgot what that's called now, the ASR anti-slip regulator. Sitting just below that, on the left hand side, we've got a USB and an auxiliary port on the right hand side. Twin cup holders, six speed manual gearbox, and here's the master control panel for the visual boost radio, so you can change all your settings exactly as you want them. So that's the view from the driver's side. Now to gain access to the, the rear, just behind the driver's seat there's a lever. I'll pull that up 
push it forward and the seat slides forward so you've got access there for people in the back so I'll come round to the back now to get in the boot of the uh, the three door hatch there's a little touch button just underneath them in the batch lift that up and there we go we've got a 60 40 folding split rear seat arrangement this is the mini flat load boot floor system so you've got a solid panel there and if you lift that up you've got some additional storage facilities and there's a couple of tools in there which come with the car to be honest that's all you get these days and close that up and come down the near side or a passenger side pop the door open we'll check out that door card to make sure it's gorgeous which it is I can confirm the passenger seat well that's absolutely beautiful and the bonus for the passenger as well that seat is also height adjustable and again to gain access just lift the lever up on the back of the seat slide it forward and there you go those seats are absolutely pristine so in total for it to sum up we've got a 2018 Mini one, 1.5 three door petrol with a six speed box, 11,818 miles from new. Once I finish the video, our team will come in, they'll probably secure the interior so it'll get a steering wheel cover, get a gear stick and a handbrake cover. It's all ready to meet its new owner. So if you have anything you want to discuss, if you've got a part exchange you'd like me to value, or you'd like to learn anything more about our beautiful Mini, my name's Stephen, thank you for watching our video and we hope to speak to you soon.